Ja, Smart Wargames hier. Welcome. Let's check out another classic title. Eric Young's Squad Assault. Ja. Chances are high that you never heard of this title. Me neither. Ja, despite basically covering all of them, looking everywhere, I by accident stumbled across this title when we checked out recently um, GI Combat, which was also made by many of the same developers of this game. And I read a user comment there about Eric Young. And then checked out his game releases and found this here. So yeah, first things first. This was another attempt to get close combat, for which many of the acting developers were also responsible to get So yeah, and uh, Squad Assault seems like this worked out better, but there is almost little information. There's little information to be found on the internet. Unfortunately, with many war games, especially from the early 2000s, they simply, uh, especially from the early Matrix catalog, they simply disappear out of existence. Not only the games, but also all talk of it. The forums simply disappear. Nothing is preserved. Unfortunately, yeah. And it was really hard to find information about this game. I mean, probably it was not really the revolution of tactical wargaming, but still, yeah. Good. Yeah, it runs on Windows 10 11. Yeah? That is important information. Out of the box, still, no problem, it seems. Sure, you have here the new, the classic aspect ratio. Game is not available anymore on the Matrix catalog. They discontinu discontinued a lot of the games. I would like that Matrix Slytherin, okay, if they discontinue, but that they don't strike those titles out of existence. There's many war games that disappeared from today to tomorrow, or from, yes, from one day to another. But sure, there's also a lot of legal issues tied to this. Yeah, you can't simply release other people's games for free or whatever. Good. Yeah, close combat, squad based. Well, yeah, squad is somewhat uh, probably resembling some elements of squad leader, advanced squad leader, uh, which uses also the term squad, which is a bit different from authentic squads. We are currently in command of the Fallschirmjäger, and we have still 60 points left. We have a schweres machine gun, Schwer heavy machine gun. And Jäger Gruppen, yeah, that is basically Jäger Squads. Normally they would be equipped with organic machine guns. Let's get some platoon sized elements of them because otherwise I don't have infantry, line infantry. And let's get some light uh, MG42 for support. Yeah, graphics are early 2000. Looks a bit similar, I must say, to Combat Mission 1, but with less detail. And yeah, interface, everything resembles closely, yeah, close combat. 
Okay, and we are defending here. I now work out the camera controls. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to press all buttons. I press some button and lock my camera. There's no tooltips, nothing. Of course, you can read the manual, yeah. But okay, we have a good overview here. You can also select multiple units. Mm. Game works in real time, but there's also an option to auto pause or 60 seconds. Then you would basically get a Vigo situation as in close uh, in combat mission. You can also set other, other time frames. We talked about this, yeah, 60 seconds. That is not some written in stone term uh, military. You don't have control of 60 seconds. That was indeed, I think. Defined, yeah, because it makes sense. It is obvious to make a 60 second Vigo turn. I think the really combat mission pulled it off and made it somewhat a standard. And we talked about this, would be interesting to play those games. We can define house rules with five minutes not being able to enter turn um, orders. And yeah, the, the actions menu resemble close, yeah, so close combat. It's a bit hard to read the fonts. So this is not working out that good. Sure that is a resolution issue, uh, but sometimes those classic games have font issues on the newer windows. Currently struggle to find out what I have selected here. No tool tips. Recon, okay. Yeah, considering that this is a defense situation, sure, Recon will participate. That's a recon. That is Scharfschütze. Let's see what is the highest building here in town. Put this guy here inside. Scharfschütze. Oh, that's range. Okay, whatever, saying that. What's that guy? Scharfschütze. Yeah, also sniper. George, yeah, classic. Good, he's now in the church for the set for a unit. And read. MG42. Hmm. Like I guess that is a good. We definitely want to cover those open fields because afterwards it will become Bokash Hedgerow Warfare. I definitely put up that is a heavy machine gun. Yeah. Good. If the US is coming from here, I would be the US player. I would definitely occupy this tree line and probably advance through here. I don't know, perhaps the river if that is po or this water possible. And yeah, perhaps try to capture this Bokash here. We could place Germans here and then immediately capture the Bokash here in order to prevent them to get into that Bokash. Otherwise, we can have close combat. Let's get an infantry squad on that. Oh wait, those chimneys. Can we move them around? Deploy. Ah, oh, okay, chimney. Yeah, now it worked out. Okay, ah, oh, okay. We need to use deploy. Good, and then. Quickly, I guess March is the quick least, quick least, fastest, behind this Bokash. Yeah. Good, this means the machine gun 42 here in the church doesn't receive orders. That's why I've got problem. Now they deployed, but it's... Okay, 
stay there. Rotate. I think that was in close combat. Yeah. Ambush. Or defend. Uh, defend. Exactly. Okay. I'm not sure if you can tie orders together. I don't want to screw it up now. But very similar to close combat. Bit more finicky than the modern close combat games. But then again, my snipers, where well, the one sniper was here, right? Go into the church tower. Uh, normally, close combat games don't have levels, but it is normally simulated. When they are in a multi story building, they will receive some advantage. Indifference to the modern combat mission games. In classic combat mission games, nah, classic combat mission games also had levels. <clears throat> but if I remember correctly, in close combat terms, they always occupy the highest level. I guess it is an ambush range. Yeah, let's, uh, let's stick with defend orders. I don't want to now pull off here something too. Is that a sniper? What? Why is he sitting in the. When I told you. Go into the church. Exactly. Good. We have here uh, that is scouts. What is that? Zugführer, uh, so our platoon leader. That is Leutnant or Oberleutnant Jimmy Tony Jenny. Yeah. You can read about him on Wikipedia. Very gruesome what he did. Yeah. Okay, so let's check out. Um, I guess that guy should rather stay in the rear. In close combat, things I die so fast. I think sometimes too fast. Close combat is a super lethal game, especially for the infantry. Uh, I rather prefer the combat mission approach. Classic and modern. But in close combat, we, we will see, perhaps here it is different, but in regular close combat, everything dies instantly. So there's a good command center. Got some edge here. You can almost see those Tonys here on the ground. Yeah, I want to have it warm. I'm one of those lazy commanders. Good, there is another Jäger um, infantry squad. We need something on the left in order to fend off in case they come here. Uh, buildings, we could use buildings and some scouts. I think that is a good idea. Oh, Jimmy, they're not fitting into the. Are you too much or what? Are you in the. That doesn't look like you're in the building. Yeah, whatever. Or oh, is it? I can't tell. Is it level one? No, the Tony's. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, my mistake here. Commander, what is going on? Too much. Who's? But what do we have here? Another squad. Yeah, definitely center. Yeah, this here needs to be, and this objective here needs to be occupied. The uh, question is infantry. Yeah, those pokages are very fragmented. Rather go for the building or set up machine gun in the building or machine gun in the rear pokage to cover a limited arc. Indirect, uh, but definitely get some Tonys into the building there.
me a notice sound. I think that is also, yeah, that is also a range we need to watch out with this defend marker. I think that is not like in close combat, but that is also a limit of attack. I'm pretty sure that is, yeah. Because if we limit that too much... And ambush, I guess the difference between ambush and defend is that ambush puts some emphasis on concealment. And once they spot units, they will engage, but they might not spot that good because they pay emphasis on concealing. Why defend is they really uh, scan the horizon by making also themselves prone for observation. I mean, in this regard, we could also try to use ambush. Yeah. Of course, Tony needs to come into the open. But that is only... Uh, what I consider, yeah, it could be that there's some difference. Oh, you see, for example, that guy, but that's because of the line of sight, right? Those guys received the maximum? No. Ah, yeah, okay, you see the difference between ambush and defend? So let's stick with defend, yeah, because otherwise we will allow them to get very close. Being a noob in this game system, it's better to fend off the enemies early on. Good, what do we have here? Uh, LMG. We have LMG covering here, that is a heavy M MG, that is also MG42 and a Lafette. Let's set up a machine gun. Together with a recon. Cover the left, then retreat. That is very fragmented, that's not really Bocage. This machine gun can act. But that is very dangerous here, but normally retreat route is given. Whatever. Which means also recon, squad, we'll set up together with them. One recon squad here. Tell me what is going on? Don't like that corner? I also don't like it. There's also a recon squad. Ah. Whatever. But what is those Tonys here? Anti tank. Uh, who knows? I mean, we're facing US Airborne, but perhaps I think it is simulating the D Day. Either they already linked up with armor. If I keep them in reserve, I would have tanks. I definitely would bring them on the main road. Cover this area here, but that is out of bazooka range. That guy was me. Good. As we have a mortar, yeah, mortars. A mortars are often absolutely lethal in close combat. Br brutally lethal. I think were, I even heard from people when they play multiplayer, they limit the usage of indirect weapons because they're so brutal. As this game, or close combat at least, doesn't require much yeah, artillery observation and direction. You simply fire those things off. Sure, if you have a line of sight, even better. But even without line of sight, you can fire. And basically wipe out infantry out of existence. Only factor that is limiting you is really is ammunition. But perhaps here this difference. I'm not really a fan of this mortar madness you sometimes see in close combat. I think there were some mods that reduced it a bit or made it harder to put effective mortar or indirect fire onto enemies. 
Yeah, same for air support. Certain elements are handled rather casually in close combat. Air support, for example, is simply place a marker on a map and then a bomb is dropped there. Yeah, that is something in World War II, even in modern warfare, uh, even in near future or current warfare, as you can see. In a TV every day or on YouTube channels like The Sun requires really a lot of effort. Good, what is that here? Platoon leader. We have two platoon leaders. Okay. Yeah, let's keep one Jimmy on the right flank. Platoon leader might assist here. Yeah, nice. Set. Sniper. What is a sniper? Sniper. We also, of course, need to watch our right flank. Currently, no, nobody covers the right flank. Left flank is covered. So we might put the sniper here on the right. But he has more uh, recon duty than uh, suppression duty. That's a real bocage here. I was better keep that Tony. Who knows? I was the advance here, then we have problems. <laughs> yeah, why not? I mean, why not? But they don't know what we what what we do. Yeah, so you would expect that there would be something dangerously placed in danger threat. And that's it, yeah. We can check the mini mini map, mini 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 map, mini maxi map. I think fine. Jimmy, this game has no tool tips. Trumpet. Is that <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, it worked. Okay, the trumpet is let's go. Good, let's see how those animations look. Yeah, that is the best animation animations I've ever seen. It's totally some moving tactical here. What? Jimmy, we are already in contact. Oh, a lot of Tonys here in the open. Yeah, okay, those guys indeed decide. Bring up the machine gun. Um, sniper. Wait, we cannot pause the game every time. Oh. And I think the game allows you to give orders, is that correct? Yeah. But the game, uh, you can also set it to auto pause, yeah. And then restrict yourself from. Yeah, in that case, Jimmy's. Move up to that bocage. Yeah, it was only looking for trouble. Do we want to redeploy the HMG? What is, why is there so many people sitting here? It's an HMG, okay. Who are you? Ah, there's a mortar team. They deployed here minimum platoon sized elements in the open. They will now get suppressed by the infantry, but uh, they might respond. We have no air support, nothing. Now thinking about getting my support weapons to over to them. Let's do that. Assault. I don't know if that is the fastest move. Assault, or is it a splitting move? Let's go march. And with shift, we might. Combine orders. Yeah, like in close combat. And set up the machine gun. AS. Did it work out? Me? Yes. Normally I would expect now to see the notes. But. Works out. Perhaps we only see one note. What the hook? Release shift, it goes away. Yeah, a bit finicky, as mentioned. 
I know, but that was early 2000s. In the early 2000s, everyone wanted to go 3D. It's crazy. Everyone wanted to go 3D as crazy as if 2D is dying. I mean, there was a recent attempt, yeah. Bloody first, close combat. Go 3D. Worked out pretty good. I mean, it's up to you, yeah, but... Okay, bring up the mortars as well. Yeah, that is medium mortar. These mortars will brutally execute them. Let's unpause. Okay, those guys move quite fast. Be fine. Yeah, march is fast. Yeah, that is an auto pause. Uh, you can deactivate that. I think we're already receiving some indirect. It seems like indeed maximum stuff is happening on the right flank. Might even get the platoon leader over here to assist. So we still struggle to get here past the hedge. There's some stuff advancing on the main road, but that should be covered here by those Tonys. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Jimmy. Let's go. Let's, uh, go. let's go. That's exactly all Germans talk in English. Oh, some nice smoke effects. Hey, Tonis, don't overdo it. Defend. But pray authentic weapon sounds. Uh, the smoke effects. Probably the best I've ever seen. Very 2D. Yeah, we could basically play it like combat mission. Saying that you're only allowed to give orders every 60 seconds. Yeah, US taking already quite some casualties here. Oh gee, there's a bit piling up here. Good, mortars and heavy machine gun getting in position. But most work is done here by the infantry squad. And the uh, platoon leader squad. Schroeder is panicking. Uh, in order to pay attention to command and control, I think this is not needed anymore here, especially considering that the left flank is also exposed. You might retreat those guys back to this position. I think we have currently enough guns onto this and yeah, they already got wasted here. Same here, we have a bit too much stuff sitting around. Make room for that infantry squad. A lot of guys in the open. It looks okay. On pause. Yeah, but if they don't put any support weapons on us, they will never ever cross those fields. And that is in close combat, you have basically no chance by concealed movement or whatever to assault a position you will get wasted. Let's move into action. Ah. 
Ja, first blood. Guess this platoon leader. Archer is he down? Ja. Our platoon leader is KIA. Hier, Hauptfeldwebel. Übernehmen Sie. Ja, but Hauptfeldwebel Jimmy is a hard, tough nut. He will take command. He was always the re platoon leader. Hauptfeld. Those guys sitting ducks here. We might expand. What's that? Medium mortar. Get a bit. Yeah, come on. Don't micromanage here now around. Uh, what? Is it because I pressed escape? Yeah, okay. Doesn't look good for the US Airborne. You can even see here the Narben. What you don't see in many games. Yeah, that is also typical for close combat, uh, those brutal sounds. A close combat and combat mission, which both appeared in tactical wargaming around the same time. Yeah, combat mission a bit later. Always wanted to pay a good deal to the psychological aspect, to the individual emotional aspect of warfare. Showing you the gruesome side of war, um, including those sounds, which is still very prevalent in close combat especially. Uh, in close combat, be it 2D or whatever, if you body back those guys, yeah, they will make worse noises. And yeah, also morale factors, etc. But being audiovisualized, not only a number or whatever shown to you, but audiovisualized, also blood, those blood pools. There is quite a difference to combat mission. In combat mission, you don't see blood. I mean, um, what people need to understand, yeah, I don't want to get too much into detail, but if you ever saw people getting shot, I don't create blood splatters. Yeah, it depends, of course, on what you're getting hit. Um, but um, yeah, usually a ordnance effect uh, that's typical small arms, uh, 556 five, or whatever. It might not create. It depends. It depends what is hit in the body. Yeah. It's so artery severed with an opening to the outside, which then might create those. Sure, if somebody lies around, yeah. Internal bleedings are a big problem. That is usually when uh, ordnance enters you and creates internal problems into your body. Yeah. Internal bleeding that is biggest problems. Which you can't simply that easily fix. On a battlefield that requires some surgery intervention. But sure, yeah, if those chimneys lie around, but it's not like they drop and me blood or blood splatters appear. There is indeed the, the those puffs, yeah, they happen, that is true, depending on what the individual is wearing. But usually you see simply Jimmy's dropping like as somebody removed the batteries from them. Yeah, if you hit somebody critical, uh, you have other people you hit them and adrenaline is pushing them through. They might even conduct something. They might run away and then die off screen basically. And if you hit somebody critical, uh, hitting something of the central nervous system or whatever, they simply drop like if you remove the batteries of them. That is usually indicating you 
in a rather gruesome manner that somebody was really, yeah, it's not in a good condition. Blood, yeah, but I heard that, what was it, in commission they wanted to remove this gruesome aspect because of gaming or whatever, I find that, I mean, that is a essential aspect of warfare, yeah? people doing gruesome, nasty things to each other. But sure, you can do that, you can um, simulate that in a video game environment. Including those effects, I think they even make us aware of the gruesomeness of real warfare, real human beings body bagging each other. I personally would rather prefer that everybody body bags each other virtually in war games or shooters. What? Yeah, I was thinking that Jimmy is throwing a super grenade, but he utilized a smoke. Please, those guys have some issues. What is going on? What is your problem? From Tony is pinned. Yeah, okay. Continue. Well, uh, now the US is going here all in. But with little luck, they developed some sort of smoke screen. But engaging every single individual, grenades are being used. Interesting also about death animations, they look, I mean, it is it is possible, yeah, that you might receive enough kinetic jewels that you might fly around and swing your arms while getting hit. But little 3D games show you, and I, I find the reality way more nightmarish. As I told you, those people, they simply drop like you remove batteries of, out of them, they might be fully running. Or they're standing and they suddenly sack simply away. Sack like all muscles cease operation in a single moment. While in those games they fly around and other, as I mentioned, yeah, they get hit critical. They run forward toward or they usually retreat and then um, drop somewhere else. Something that was basically never, almost never seen in movies or video games. There was one movie, the Zero Dark Thirty, which was also be was filmed under supervision of uh, real special force operatives, operators X or whatever. Where they probably already dropped one or another Tony. They know how it looks. It's uh, surprising. It is something you don't. Yeah, I could guess nowadays even every twelve year old sees that because. Now with the Ukraine war you have here on YouTube footage of people getting grenaded and uh, body backed around every corner, yeah. Just need to check your Reddit. Yeah, but um, just to let you, yeah. Good. So far it looks good, yeah. Very brutal here for the US. It was rather desperate. What are those guys doing? What was it a mortar impact? And it will never ever cross here. I think they are out of steam. There's only some remnants left, they are retreating rather. I left the game open time. Normally uh, close combat games have a rather short battle time of something like 30 minutes. I set it to open. 
We have a couple of broken Tonys here. Which are retreated. But that's okay. Frontline is holding. Yeah, I remember from close combat, sometimes it can be not a good idea to set an infinite mission timer. Because this sometimes can lead to those unrealistic situations where you need to hunt down every single guy on the map. There's a reason why you should rather stick for these mission timers. So now the battle would be over, yeah, the US would be... In we could recapture now this road. That would be an objective, which would then translate to the operational map. And ask probably to the retreat rates of the enemy, but... If you want to play authentic, yeah, in... With exceptions, of course, there were some situations in World War II where units completely depleted themselves into blood. Uh, taking losses 80-90%, but usually... A situation like this, yeah, those remnants would retreat long ago, even. I mean, not bad. If you look for something more than like this, yeah, check and 3D is for you obligatory. Check out uh, Close Combat, the bloody first, yeah. But yeah, I understand. This was definitely looks a bit more solid than GI Combat. And basically puts the close combat formula into uh, early 2000 3D engine. And yeah. But acquiring this game is difficult. It runs fine. That's also why I find it rather strange. Why remove those titles? There might be people that are interested. They want to play them for nostalgia or for whatever reasons. Put a disclaimer on it or whatever. Or think... No, but again, yeah, there might be legal issues. Sometimes that publishers and developers might sign contracts that they are allowed to sell this game for 10 years. Then developers resolve, dissolve, I mean. Then 10 years are over and the publisher needs to basically cancel those games out of the catalog. But in uh, Matrix Silterine, I often notice that those games that are a bit troubling on Windows 10 11, especially with installation, or games that might be troubling, they are quickly removed from the catalog in order not to cause any harm, because otherwise there might be some Jimmy that buys this game for $40, then the game doesn't install, then he writes to the support, he gets his money back, and they think, is it worth the effort? No, they remove the game, and game dies. Yeah. Here I didn't see any prob problems. I told you, yeah, for those classic Matrix littering games, you sometimes need to go into safe mode. So otherwise you're not able to ride into the wreck. And there's really some good games that unfortunately died this year. Yeah, if you ask me personally, I would rather... I mean, it was looks like a good attempt, okay. I would rather play simply those 2D close combat games. If you're looking for the close combat experience. But that is personal preference. Yeah, you might think different. I think we had a somewhat interesting engagement here. We continue running it. Let's see, can we under what is will I surrender what? Unglaublich! Not only have you managed to wipe your valuable command out, but okay, yeah, so if you Okay, yeah, Jimmy. They basically, it, oh, 67 is not true, yeah, that is because we surrendered. Jimmy, we first gave the um, US Airborne a, not a bloody nose, a bloody everything. And then Commander suddenly decided, Jimmy, that is not worth Stop this war. World War II is lost. Realize it. Let's surrender, yeah. And Helmut Graf von Molke is not happy about this. Yeah, that was here Eric Young's Squad Assault. If you can acquire a copy of this, yeah, play it. I mean, it's not too bad. New video, what is it? And yeah, see you in the next episode. Good hunting.